yeah, it was nice. We definitely, um, <laughs> we did our best to classic Titans, man, you know, let it, we fell asleep at the wheel, uh, on, on both sides of the ball. And then, um, just Tannehill just willing us into that thing too. It was very impressive. So, um, it, it feels good, man. We definitely, there's a lot of guys in this team that need this pie, including myself and, uh, look forward, look forward to playing, uh, what we, we, we start the season with our mind on as the playoffs. Yeah, I thought he got rid of it. Yeah, yeah we called a um, a chip where the turkey is supposed to hit him. And I told Turkey earlier in the week, I said, I'll give you $1,000 if you can knock these guys down. And he was trying his damnedest. Well, Martin lines up super tight, and I knew they were going to run some sort of game or he was going to go inside. So I, I really short it. He goes to go inside, and then Turkey puts the boosters on him. He goes to hit him and throws him. And I was he, – uh, he got in there for sure. And so uh, – have a nice little streak going, and and Tannehill saved my ass on that. Saved the whole game, but you know me personally saved my ass. So um, that was a cool play. I thought he got the ball off, so I was kind of standing there like nothing was going on. And then all of a sudden he starts running, so I start running, and I think he hit Westbrook. Right? That was a nice. That was a really cool play. Yeah, I mean, I think he's, you know, through all the ups and downs, I mean, you, the, the first thing you think of is the first time we played them in that bad weather and the interceptions. Tannehill, is, he doesn't get phased. He just he's has, like, this life about him, this leadership about him that, um, you know, he never says die. He's like a goonie, you know, never says die. So he, um, he definitely did a great job. When we were in the huddle in that four-minute, you know, we're all talking. We have our keys during four minutes of what to do, what not to do. And so uh, we're all reminding ourselves of that. And then Tannehill comes in, gives the boys, boys a nice little pump-up speech, and then calls a play. So um, awesome to win that game. Wish we would have won it better. But it was great to win that game in a four-minute and, uh, and, and um, run the ball when they know we're going to run the ball. So, Sorry. Sorry. You, you talked last week and you got emotional about winning the AFC Yeah. Yeah, I think that's – I think through all the adversity that this whole team has had, um, got individual guys, but also just as a team, you know, 88, 89, whatever the number is of guys playing – NFL record of guys playing on a team, that says a lot about our coach. And um, when guys come in here, him setting the tone of what, you know, how we're supposed to play and the way we're supposed to play, I think Raves and um, both coordinators and all the coaches have done a great job of putting guys in and – um, if I was out for a game, you know, knowing different things and setting up different opportunities for whoever's playing left tackle and all the guys that have played this season, it's, it says a lot, man. It says a lot. And, um, you know, I laugh with Vrabes because that coach of the year, he, I bet he doesn't care about that at all. But if he wins it, that's, gonna, that's pretty cool and it'll be very deserving. Yeah, you, know, you celebrate a win. You go in the locker room, dap the boys up. You're a little excited, and um, yeah, but I think you're right. Like, all right, we we accomplished in the season what we wanted to accomplish. However, it looked, we did it. Um, finishing at the number one seed was is awesome, but at the end of the day, like, it's for real now. You know, we gotta we gotta clean up a bunch of stuff from this game. I think a lot of us, especially in the offensive line, need to clean a lot of stuff up. And uh, get ready to go play some ball in two weeks. Yeah, I think we got some momentum. I think um, guys have really cleaned stuff up. You know, um, that pass protection, it's a, it's a difficult job. And uh, I know we've, you know, some things have happened. It takes all, but like, just like turnovers and everything, it takes all 11 guys, you know. We got third down. You tell those wide receivers, hey, get open. You make our jobs a whole lot easier. And those guys have... Those receivers have done a great job of doing that. Our running backs have done an amazing job in protection. And Tannehill, knowing where his reads are, he's done an excellent job of getting the ball out. And so I think it's not just the offensive line. It's all 11 that we've all improved in that category for a reason. And, and, um, and But, you know, it, it starts with us. We have to. We had to be better, and we've been better. Did you hear the, the Titans fans here? Man, I actually am glad you asked that because that was cool. You know, the, the, our side was filled with the two-tone blue. And uh, I know, like, a couple weeks ago, Logan Ryan was saying a bunch of stuff, and, you know, I kind of 
didn't didn't say you know f that guy and people were a little upset but it was cool to see them show up it was very cool and very appreciated too i mean it was loud it was loud for them when they were in offense and you know the texans played a hell of a game and i like i said before i've been those locker rooms where you're playing those last few games with nothing really to fight for and um it's cool to see how much our, our fan base has grown now they're traveling that's very cool and i'm excited to see how this division game goes packed house we don't we no empty seats no empty seats and you know they they play a key role when our defense is on the field um it really helps it really does they do more than they think they do so thank you titans fans